Final part this three. Is part three. If you haven't checked out the other parts, go check them out. Okay, eleven five five eleven five one five 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 and eight four two is all significant. Okay, now I'm getting a couple storylines for some of y'all. This is somebody who is a karmic. They're a karmic soulmate, or they're at least still in karmic energy, even if they are a soulmate. And they're just gonna come back to see if they can put you back in the same repetitive cycle. Okay. So use your discernment, trust your intuition. Now for others, this is somebody who feels like time is running out. They've been trying to release karmic energy, but this person hasn't closed out all the cycles. I feel like karmic cycles are all coming, closing down, like karmics are closing out cycles with this person. But as far as them releasing karmic energy within themselves, they still been doing a lot of reflecting, but they haven't really been doing the healing work. Now this person may come towards you and say that they want to work on themselves and all of that. But you trust your intuition and use your discernment when it comes to that because this person may go back to their old toxic ways and, and patterns and behaviors. So it's really totally up to y'all whether or not y'all decide to take this person back because overall, this is somebody who was very sneaky, very deceptive, who played games, who was in and out of your life, who had you in your head, who wanted to cause you into conflict, who possibly caused you even chaos and competition. Okay, y'all could have gotten into some arguments and fights. I've just seen one, two, three on the timestamp. Arguments and fights with other people, with karmics that they were dealing with. Okay, but things are being made fair. And I feel like all this weight that you've had on you dealing with this situation has been lifted. You released this. But this person is now having to deal with their own burdens, the own chaos that they have created. Okay, all the, the unstable connections that they had left behind. This person is somebody who was loving people and leaving them waiting. And then coming back into their life to cause more confusion, cause more illusions, and then leaving right back out to jump to the next. And giving offer to karmics and leaving a divine being out in the cold. This is who this person is. It's giving mask. Like, this is somebody who wore a mask. They weren't showing their true hands either. They rolled the dice with connections. For some, they could be a gambler. I don't know, but it's giving, 222 on the timestamp, it's giving like this person... They were not aware. They were unawoken. They, I mean, but at the same time, I feel like they know what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. Okay. And they were choosing to play, play this game because like I said, for some, this person is obsessed with playing games. Like this is just, this is what they do. Okay. We're going to tap into this love oracle. Let's see. First one out, we got toxic relationship, fighting, codependent, misunderstanding, triggers. I feel like these karmics are realizing that this is a toxic connection with this person. It could be fighting. You know, these are people that they want to have codependent on them. They're causing misunderstandings, triggered, these tower moments, romantic feelings, falling in love, affection, happiness, emotion. I told y'all this person is realizing that they have romantic feelings for you. Okay, and they dealing with... I feel like this is the this person. I mean, I'm sure whoever they deal with, they could be toxic too, but it's really giving this person is. You know what I'm saying? Relationship, commitment, partnership, boyfriend, girlfriend. This person may come and offer you a relationship, okay? After leaving a toxic connection in the past, okay? We got home, but it almost wanted to flip out in reverse. We got comfort, safety, belonging, shelter. Okay, this person could feel comfort with you, could feel safe with you. Okay, but with it coming out and challenging the position, I feel like this is somebody who is still dealing with instability. Okay, and then we got finances at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this person could be having money problems. Okay, or just really focused. They could be materialistic, really focused on material things, or they were. Okay, but change is coming. We got change, regeneration, growth, metamorphosis, and cycles. Okay, I told y'all people are breaking up with this person. If they had side chicks, if they had mistresses, if they had, you know, whatever. People all over the place. People are breaking up with this person. Okay, we got storm warning, upheaval, obstacles, wrecking ball, drama. Though this person wants to cause drama, they upset because... People breaking up with them. We got addictions. I told y'all some of them got toxic addictions. We got toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession. Okay, for some, y'all, they can have toxic family members. This could have been somebody who ghosted y'all. Okay, a soulmate. 
whoever this is, they're surrendering though. And I feel like you surrendered this. Letting go, release, give up, patience. Okay. You surrendered this. You said the truth. You got in the clarity that you needed. You decided to be single. Okay. And I feel like y'all are headed towards something new. I see secret crush and trust in divine timing. So y'all can have a secret crush. Okay. That wants to come in. They might be the one who's having romantic feelings for y'all and want to start a relationship. Okay, this may be change that's coming in for y'all. Some of y'all could be moving. This could be change that's coming in for y'all. Okay, trust your intuition. We got gut feeling, psychic, premonition, sixth sense. I feel like you, some of y'all, y'all may have seen this. Y'all may have seen this, may have warned this person about some things, about these upheavals that were about to happen. Okay, and what I tell y'all, this person rolled the dice with the connection. We got take a chance, risk, leap of faith, strategic. This person was being strategic with the connections that they were in. They knew what they were doing. They rolled the dice with the connections. And you trusted your intuition and you left this person. And it caused tower moments for this person with the storm warning. What I say, truth. Y'all gotten the truth. Y'all gotten the clarity. Okay? Secrets could have got exposed about this person. Okay? About them rolling the dice. Okay? We got... <laughs> Addiction, toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession. Okay, some of y'all found out the truth about this person having toxic attachments, being on drugs, you know, could have addictions to alcohol or obsessions. Okay, we got magnetic attraction, alluring lust, irresistible flirting. Okay, I feel like, you know, you do feel like you may have a real magnetic connection to this person because they're your soulmate, but whoever this is, is giving, mm -mm. and this could be what the toxic ro uh, relationship is. You're realizing this was a very toxic connection, so you released this. You broke up with this person. You trusted your intuition because you knew this person was rolling the dice with you. Now they're dealing with karma. Um, the deck split like this and mask and music here, so I feel like this person, like I said, was wearing a mask. Okay, we got hidden motives, concealed, disguised, lying. Grass is greener behind that, so I'm going to take it. We got jealousy, better option, unhappy, deserve better. This person knows you deserve better. They thought that they had other options. So they were going to go and, and go and pick and choose, be choosy. Okay, now they're unhappy and jealous because you're moving on. This person here, how they felt about you. Lied to you, probably lied to others. Okay. This person could feel like you speak to them in music. But like I said, y'all surrendered this soulmate connection. They could have ghosted you, so you're ghosting this situation. And for some, y'all had family with this person. This could have been an ex-lover, okay, who put y'all in third-party situation, okay? For some, they could have put y'all in third-party situations with friends. They let friends get in the way of y'all connection. For others, they let ex-lovers get in the way, like I told y'all. For others, they could have let family get in the way. And for some, they could have let family, ex-lovers, and friends get in the way. Because that's all around third party. I told y'all. This person probably had people telling them to ghost you and all that other stuff. Now you surrendered this connection. And now this person feels like y'all have unfinished business. It's not over patterns, back and forth baggage, but this person is coming back with baggage, divine intervention, serendipity, catalyst, supernatural, and karma. What I tell y'all, y'all was a catalyst for this person to change. Now they're receiving karma, and y'all may receive some type of unexpected news about this person, or um, get some type of surprise, see something on social media or something, I don't know, about this person hooking up, about a one-night stand, about intimacy, about this person having casual connections i don't know but trust in divine timing okay wrong timing still made perfect timing and wait i told y'all y'all do have a secret crush you could be single y'all got somebody who's crushing y'all single y'all healing people find y'all to be mysterious okay and these snakes in the grass they being exposed but that is the general reading for the collective